Hello, in this channel, I'm gonna be sharing with you different DIYs that you're not only gonna use them for yourself, but you're gonna be able to sell them. My goal is to turn your hobbies into a business. a really quick video that I wanted to share with you guys about a year ago I came across um, I think I found this by accident and that is, that is um, taking cleaning up images for your Cricut so if you have a Cricut you need to go to your Cricut application to the, the program and you're gonna click down here on the upload and then you're gonna select a picture okay so we're gonna do two different ones just so that you can have two different ways to do it. I'm gonna pick this one here. Okay, and then I'm going to go remove right on the left side right there. And this is from your from your um, iPad. Okay, you're gonna see how is how much easier it makes to clean images. So you're just gonna click on the white part. And for instance, um, we're gonna do this a cut, a print and cut image. So then you go in the bottom, you make it bigger, you get rid of all the you all the white right there. Now, if you want those little white circles right there, you use a pen like this. Most of the pens now have that. It's to like maneuver for your iPad or your iPhone. And you're just gonna make the, the image as big as you can and you're just gonna touch right there in the middle. See, and if you look at, at this side, it's gonna start showing you if it's doing it or not. Right there, see? There's another one, and there's, uh, if you have a problem like this, you just go undo, and there you are again, right where it was, where you left off. So, that right there, so see, you can see the three here. Okay, and then, you're just gonna go, around everything and you're going to go ahead and do it and when you save it i'm not going to do all of them because it's going to take a long time but to save it you're going to go next up here and here is the image this is if you want it printed uh this way and this is if you want to print it how it looks then you go next again and when you print it you're going to print it print it here not here you're going to print it right here and that means that you're gonna print and then you're gonna cut. And then you give it a name and you're done. Okay, so that's one. Now let me go back and let me um, cancel all these so that we can do a different one. So again, you go upload, you select from your library, and we're gonna choose something like this. Let's go ahead and do this one. Okay, so there you have it. And this is something that you're gonna print uh, with with vinyl, this is going to be different than than the other one. The other one you print with the different paper, different sheets, and I can put it. I'm going to put a link of all the um, the different sheets and the different vinyls that you can use for these jobs. For this one, you're just going to go remove. You're going to go right in the middle, and all of this looks fine. You're going to go everywhere where it has white. See that? And see how easy it is. Usually when you do it on your computer, all the imperfections show and, the, and to clean it, it's just such a pain in the you know what. So you just go there. The areas where it's, uh, where it's sm small, then you can go ahead and make it bigger and just go there and move it around and just go there. And that makes everything so much easier, you guys. It's just amazing how uh, you find something by accident and, and then you're like, whoa, this saved me so much time. Once you have it here and you're going to save it, iCloud. So you're going to go ahead and, and you want to say that it's a cut image. You're going to put the image of the BD, the, the image that you want. You want to give it a name. So I'm going to just say baby. And it's automatically going to save it into my iCloud because I already programmed it for that. So you just go save. And there it is. So when you go up and to use it to, to make it, you just click on that 
and you insert it. And there it is. You can go ahead and start working with it. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. And this is from the Cricut. So I hope you are able to benefit from these. And other than that, that's all I have for you today. I hope you like it. May the Lord bless you today and every day. And see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.